this is Lady Boulay and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Okay, let's talk Boulay because I think people think they're intimidating me when they come on here calling me Boulay. And I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't have any idea what these people are talking about. There was a fraternity called the Boule, Sigma Pi Phi, of black men who lived up in the Philadelphia area, up in that northeastern area, who created that Boule way back in the, what, 1920s or something or other, because they were professional black men trying to get themselves out of this toxic ignorant black culture, I'm sure. So they created a fraternity of, they said, like-minded people. Now those people have been responsible for every disaster, every catastrophe, everything that has gone wrong in black people's lives. People that they don't even know. The Boule is an organization of professional black men. Black men who have proven that their abilities in business in medicine, in education, in the military, in politics, or whatever I missed. The boule is for professional people. It's not for people who just decide they want to be in the boule, and then they decide, like every fraternity and sorority, they decide who they want to be in their organization. So you don't just jump in the organization because you want to. They select you. Their mission statement is that they wanted to be with like-minded people, professional black people who had a vision for their own lives and for the community. Now, on the basis of that, they are blamed for everything that goes wrong in black America. Now, it's the boule that's putting crack in the neighborhoods, and it's the boule that's making you take the crack. There are a lot of people who live in, in dysfunctional neighborhoods, and they never partake of the degeneracy of that neighborhood. But on the basis of that, they started calling people boule and bootlicks and all of this. Now, mind you, the main people that are on YouTube talking about boule this and boule that, these are men usually and the women who follow them, but mostly they are men who built their platforms demeaning and degrading black women, finding fault with black women and trying to spread that out all over the world. Because when we looked at two, those two men in England that it appears have ruined themselves, we have to remember that black men in America on these, these bottom feeders on these YouTube channels were the ones who started out demeaning and degrading black women. And they brought as many people in as they could. And they had that white, they brought white men in. White men don't go out and talk about white women. They have negative attitudes about white women. They do low down things to white women. But they don't get out and broadcast that over the world. The way these black men have done. But now it's not about them. It's about the boule. And I heard one of my favorite YouTubers say just the other day. That when she came on social media. She was trying to listen to these black men. And every one of them was a white woman. But black women are the problem. And now they've switched gears, but not before they've done damage to other people's lives or trying to do damage to other people's lives. Now, now let's take a case in point. Roland Martin. Roland Martin has never got on his channel and demeaned and degraded black women. But you look at how these black men go after him. They attack him for everything, calling him a boule or a bootlick. Roland Martin, who's I think one of his ancestors came out of Haiti, but he has assimilated into black American society. He sees himself as a black American. They have attacked him, everything that comes out of his mouth, they attack. Now, I will acknowledge that Roland Martin can be very irritating because when Twitter first started, I remember we were in um a group at school, and everybody was learning how to tweet. You know, well, this is tweeting. Roland Martin was one of the first that really got that tweeting thing down. And every time you went in your Twitter, on your Twitter page, your Twitter feed was full of tweets from Roland Martin. And so everybody ended up having to block him because he really thinks everything that comes out of his mouth is important to the world. 
Now, that's one thing about him I noticed, but that does not make him a bad person. It just makes him a nuisance. But they just pick on him day after day, and they gang up on him just like they used to gang up on black women. And the only reason they have stopped beating up on black women is because two things happen. White men got in it, and then black men got in it. Uh, some of the black men said they didn't even realize this crowd of bottom feeders were even on, on social media. But now these same men who started out beating up on black women, now they're all political experts. They're giving, they're giving advice on politics, and they think they know what they're talking about. But they are always attacking other black people, any black man. For instance, if a black man decides to marry a black woman, that he wants to marry, this crowd of bottom feeders is going to team up against that man. But they talk about the boule. Well, who are the people that's stopping them from doing anything? Nobody. Now, for my own personal uh, history, I was the first in my family to go to college. I went to an HBCU, but it was the women in the school, my teachers, people at the church who encouraged me to go to college. You can do it. You can do it. You're smart. Fill out the form for this. Do that. Many of these were sorority women. And they were telling you, get involved with a good crowd when you go to college. Don't get involved with kids who don't go to class. Kids who stay up all night drinking and smoking and playing cards and who are just there to have a good time. Go to class. Get to know your teachers. Get involved with clubs and organizations where they're doing positive things on campus. This came from women and men who were in fraternities and sororities. Some of them weren't, but some of them were. But I decided to join the sorority of somebody that I admired. And even after I started school, my teachers and the people at the church, they were still involved with me and others. They encouraged us, you can do it. You can do it. Go to school. Get your education. These people in sororities and fraternities, they weren't doing any harm to us. And all of this stuff about you worshiping Satan and all this, that, and all the other, that's what my uncle would call niggerology. You got involved in something. It didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be. People didn't do like you thought they ought to do. So you turned against it. Now you're trying to turn everybody else against it. But the people who mentored me, the people who supported me, the people who got the resources that I needed, many of those people were in sororities. People at the church, at home, growing up, the people who got things moving in the community, those were usually people that these Negroes now call boule. So if you're not on social media beating up on black women, or you're not talking about white supremacy day after day after day, but all the time trying to get with the white man's woman, then you're a boule. I don't understand what these people are talking about. I just want to make it clear. You cannot bully me. I don't care about you calling me boule. I have never done anything to hurt anybody. My goal on this channel is to inform black people to the best of my ability and give my take on what I think is good for the community or bad for the community or to just give information about the community. And everybody I know, black women that I know, my friends and my family, the next generation, are all married to black men and living productive lives. And the ones that are not living productive lives, they're getting the support that they need from our family. And we're not out here trying to do anything to hurt anybody. And everybody has a right to their opinion. If you want to be a Republican, be a Republican. But if I want to be a, a Democrat, that's my damn business. And if you don't agree with it, then you do what you want to do. I don't care about you being a Republican because I know they're all the same. So I just want you to understand, you come on my channel, come on, you boule, you boule. You can call me anything you want to, but the question is, who are you? See, these red pillars, and this is my last thought, all these manosphere people, they're trying to slide out of the manosphere now because they are being attacked and they are being reported and they are being called out. So now they used to be in the manosphere, but they still have that mentality. But they are hiding behind other things and other people. These men have done damage to the psyche and the image of black American women. 
Just because you can't get along with somebody, instead of you going on and getting a white woman or whoever wants you, you want to sit up and demean and degrade black women and turn the world against black women. That is weak. That is weak and it's low. So all these red pillars and manosphere types that are coming on my channel, just know you can't bully me. And I want the moderators to block them when you come across them. I don't need you on my channel. This channel is about uplifting the black American community. I am a descendant of slavery. My family came out of Africa. Stop telling me I'm not from Africa. You don't know where the hell I'm from. You just do good to know where you're from and you focus on that. Okay, y'all, that's what I wanted to say. Don't think you can intimidate me by calling me Boulé. I am proud of the life that I've lived and I'll put my life up against anybody's white, black, Asian, or anybody's. I will put it up and I'll let the Lord above judge my life. Okay, y'all, and thank you for listening and thank you for your support. And let's go forward together. We don't need this negative energy. Thank you for listening and let me know what you think. Have a good day.